What if the rapture does not happen on September the 23rd of this year, 2015? <laughs> uh, there's a lot of people talking about this thing right now, and I just really feel that I need to uh, say a couple things to you out there, um, the, the viewers. And that is, uh, I've been through this thing a long time now. I remember back in 1993, people were thinking that the rapture was going to happen, and there would you'd have seven years of time of Jacob's trouble, and then the uh, year 2000 would usher in the Millennial Kingdom. Well, obviously that didn't happen, and people have predicted it year 2000, and well, maybe it's this year, and maybe it's that year, and, and uh, what happens is uh, a lot of people get very convinced of certain dates that people are setting, and they will start to tell people about it and they'll start to make their predictions and everything else and they'll say I think you know the Lord could be coming back soon you better get saved uh, there's actually a good chance that he might be coming September 23rd you know that whole thing and then it doesn't happen uh, not because the Lord's let you down it's just because the Lord it's not the Lord's timing for it but a lot of these people have gone and uh, switched over to now well it's no longer you're going to get caught out before the time of Jacob's trouble or the tribulation, as many people call it. Um, but uh, now you're going to go through it. A lot of people change. Uh, and why? Well, because they've, they've had their hopes built up and then it comes crashing down. And then they build up and then they come crashing down again. Um, I, you know, I look at this stuff. I, I consider it. I say, well, you know, there are some interesting things that are definitely happening this month, September here. But uh, am I going to be shocked if, if it doesn't happen, if there is no rapture on September 23rd? No. You say, well, then that's going to destroy your faith in the pre-trib rapture. Oh, uh, no, it's not. Because my understanding of being taken out before the time of Jacob's trouble, uh, it's not based on date setting. It's not based on, uh, look, there's Hollywood movies are putting 923 into their movie or something like this, and that proves the rapture. Come on here. No, I don't think so. My beliefs in the, uh, I call it the pre-time of Jacob's trouble catching away because that's the real term. But uh, if you want to call it the pre-tribulation rapture, my belief in that is based upon Scripture in your King James Bible. Uh, I've done many, many years of study into the th whole thing. I have hours upon hours of, of uh, uh, sermons proving the rapture is before the time of Jacob's trouble. And... Um, that's why I believe it, but uh, I just be very careful out there as a Christian. Uh, when you start to hear these predictions and, and you get yourself all excited, oh, it's going to be this month, it's going to be the 23rd and all this stuff, uh, eh, be real careful about that. Um, the Lord has plans, you know, He, he knows when it's going to happen, but we don't. And uh, you should live in an expectant thing of uh, the Lord should come back today. I mean, the Lord could come back before the, the 23rd of September. We don't know. Um, don't get yourself into this thing of, of this date setting thing and then it doesn't happen and then you go, oh man, you know. I mean, it could happen this year, definitely. We're getting close to the catching away of the Bride of Christ. Uh, but when is it going to happen? I don't know. So I just, I just wanted to make a real quick video here just to kind of warn people because I see a lot of, of stuff on this 923 thing. And I'm just saying be real careful. Uh, I hope that the Lord comes back. It would be great if He came back on the 23rd and took us out of here. Uh, that would be wonderful. But um, let's just say I'm not going to be shocked if it doesn't happen. Okay. Um, and... Just stay busy about the things of the Lord. I mean, just don't get into so caught up with this date setting thing and looking for secret signs at the Illuminati and all this stuff. And I really got to advise against that. Uh, okay, the, the Lord has plans. So our job is to stand by His Word and uh, preach the gospel to the lost. That's our job. So uh, that will be it. I'm going to be doing a study here coming up relating to some of this and it's going to be called how to be a good stubborn christian so that'll be the next video thank you for watching this one and i pray you watch the next one